Now, back in March, this orchestra that we are hearing tonight was busy touring a fantastic piece, a sitar concerto called Aria by Jazdeep Singh Deegan. And then the pandemic happened. However, we are delighted that Jazdeep is here. And not only that, you've created a new version of part of this piece for us. Tell me what we're going to hear tonight. Well, you're going to hear um, some snippets from the, um, the bigger concerto that was um, composed for sitar and orchestra. And uh, we've whittled it down to um, uh, quintet and sitar um, and whittled it down from 40 minutes to five. That's some serious yeah. editing, Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Tell me a little bit about, I mean, the piece is just beautiful, but these sonorities of um, Indian rhythms, different modes, Western harmonies sometimes, sometimes Indian harmonies. Tell me about your musical roots and how you bring all of those influences together in this work. Yeah, so I was actually born in Leeds. Um, and I studied in North Leeds and I studied at Leeds College of Music and uh, part of all the schemes like YYM and so I'm just a Leeds lad through and through really. Uh, but alongside that I was also um, lucky enough to learn Indian classical music uh, from my teacher, my Ustad, Ustad Dharambir Singh, who was a, um, a, a Leeds based musician. And um, his, him and his wife used to teach in all the primary schools and that's how I got into the music i don't come from a musical family as such so um and, and it just kind of grew, grew from there really and um and here we are today really i mean lots of people will know the collaborations between yehudi menuhin and ravi shankar that happened in the 60s and onwards from that but those two people had to find a meeting place where they both then started working in each other's musical idiom you've got all of this in your bones so what was it that you wanted to put into aria what was it that you wanted to express i mean even the name aria is written A-R-Y-A in your piece, but it sounds like Italian aria. So are those cross currents a, a very conscious thing for you? Um, kind of. The name actually came, it is, a, is a Sanskrit word, uh, which means diamond. Aria is actually pronounced. And, um, and there was um, uh, luckily just a parallel of aria um, as an um, Italian kind of um, single voice. And actually it worked quite well because the sitar acts as that single voice. Um, in, our, in our tradition of sitar playing, uh, the, the sitar, we tried to emulate the vocals by bending the strings. So um, there was a very nice parallel in that sense. And then from a kind of harmonic and um, uh, uh, from a musical point of view, um, luckily I had um, the training that I had done just by living in Leeds. If I was from India, maybe I wouldn't have had the Western classical influences. See, just um, by living in Leeds, you get the whole it. world. Yeah, yeah, just just live in Leeds. That's all I say. <laughs> Come to Leeds; it's the best place. You're in the world, working yeah. for the tourist board. It's a fantastic <laughs> piece. We're going to hear the first movement now in this reworking for a chamber group and solo sitar. This is the first movement of Aria.
Jazz Deep, Sing Deegan, sitar soloist and the composer of Aria, accompanied by five string players from the Opera North Orchestra, the leader, David Greed, second violinist, Katie New, violist, David Aspin, the cellist, Daniel Ball, and on the double bass, Dan Storer, conductor, was Oliver Rundell.